I'm sure you've heard this African proverb: "If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go far, go together." I agree. And so let's have a look at how to build your together, or we could say a community. But before that, I need to get a coffee. Okay, I got my favorite coffee, so let's start. From my experience, having a strong creative community is crucial, especially if you want to grow. But what often happens, especially if you're self-taught, is that you don't have a community when you're starting. And because of that, our crafts, filmmaking and photography can often feel very lonely, or at least that's my experience. On top of that, because you don't have many people to share your work with, to get constructive criticism, or to just grab a camera and go out and create something. Your motivation levels might decline and you might feel limited by the quality that you can create on your own, plus overall joy from creating might sometimes disappear. I know that because I was there myself. I started filmmaking about five years ago and for the first maybe three and a half years it was a very solo journey. But because of these reasons I just mentioned, I actively started looking into growing my community and into connecting with other filmmakers. And because we have similar interests, we can work together, we can be creative together and we can build long-lasting relationships. I can tell you that projects are more enjoyable because you're working with your friends. There's more brains involved, which means more creative projects and more ambitious projects. On top of that, the growth, the struggles, the successes and the memories that you create are priceless. I believe that our lives on this planet are a collective experience, which means there must be other people that also long for the creative community, whether that's filmmakers, photographers or other creatives. And so in this video, I'll talk about a few ways on how to find your creative tribe. First off, let's think about what community you want to be a part of. I suppose you're a filmmaker or photographer, but what else? What are your other interests? For me, it's adventure travel and storytelling, but for you, maybe you love uh, shooting fast cars, or maybe you want to be filming music videos. So think about what are your other interests, uh, because you can use this to help you find the right people. Once you know what type of people you want to look for, I suggest you to start online and then go offline, or at least that's what I did. Oh, and remember, you always want to bring value to people rather than asking for something from them. If you come with bringing value, people will usually welcome you with open arms and they will be happy because you help them with something. Another thing that I would suggest is connect with people that are on similar level as you are. Maybe a little bit more advanced or a little bit less advanced because it will be easier to work with these people and to create together rather than with someone who is 10 years ahead of you. It's not impossible to connect with these people, but it's difficult. And now let's talk about a few ways how to start connecting. One of the best ways to start connecting, in my opinion, is Filmspace. Filmspace is an online platform that my friend Kai is building and it's really easy to connect there, especially if you are a travel, outdoor, adventure filmmaker or photographer. Uh, people post jobs there, people post their trips, so you can find people that are traveling to certain locations and you can join them or you can create your own trips. Uh, you can get feedback on your work and overall it's just a very good platform to start connecting with like-minded individuals. I'm not sponsored by Filmspace in any way, but I just really enjoy the platform. So go check it out, I'll leave you a link in the description below. As Filmspace is a fairly new platform, there's not that many people there, and so I would still opt in for Instagram as a main platform to connect with other creatives. I know that a lot of people is complaining on Instagram these days because of the algorithms, and I completely understand, 
But what Instagram is really good for, from my experience, is connecting with like-minded individuals or creatives. I would say that 90% of my creative friendships comes from Instagram. To connect with people on Instagram is super simple. You just need to find people whose work you admire, follow them, and then start engaging with their content, ideally in the genuine way. So you want to comment on their posts, you want to react to their stories, and this way those people will notice you. And then once you send them a message, maybe after a week or two or three, whatever you feel like, then they will know that you're one of their followers and there's much higher chance of them actually replying you. Especially if you guys are on the similar level, because there's a high chance that you will admire their work, but they will also admire yours. Now, this might take a time to find the right people and to build the right relationships, but it's definitely worth it. It might be a good idea to first start connecting with people in your country or in your area, because there's definitely a higher chance that you're actually gonna do something together in real life. However, we live in a modern world and travel is fairly affordable these days. So connecting with people abroad and then planning a trip together to a country where none of you has been might be a really good idea and a really good way to connect because you get to experience a new culture, you're gonna be out of your comfort zone and this way the connections that you create might be even deeper. From my own experience, spending money, or rather I should say investing, into trips with your friends has definitely paid back. So we have film space and Instagram, another online method which I haven't done too much but I know some people are very good at it, is finding online groups. It could be Facebook groups, it could be Discord channels, it could be LinkedIn groups. And basically you just want to search for the groups that have same interests as you. So for me, I would look probably for something like adventure filmmakers. After you find these groups, it's the same process. You just want to engage with the community, be active, comment, be nice to people, post your work, and then slowly but surely, you will find people that have same interests as you and that you can create with. Now, ideally, all of these online communities will eventually lead to offline experiences. So you can connect and meet with people in the real life. This could happen in a form of meetup, an event, an exhibition, or maybe a group trip. And meeting people like this is awesome because you already know them from the online world. So now when you come together, you actually have topics to talk about and you can really start building those deep, long lasting connections. And if you would rather start connecting offline right away, then I would recommend checking up meetup.com and search for events in your town. This could be photography events, filmmaking events, exhibitions, and then attend these events and just network with people in the real world. Another great way to connect and to learn would be working with video productions. You can reach out to productions in your town, in your country, and offer them some value. Offer them that you're gonna come in and you're gonna work on set, either for free or maybe for a lower rate, Maybe you're going to be carrying around coffees, maybe you're going to do BTS, but if you will bring value, there's a high chance that they will accept your offer and you will get to know and meet people from the industry that you can learn from and then that you can create with too. Trust me, you will never regret putting your time into building a community. If you do it right, you will create meaningful connections, you will experience growth and you will be able to create projects that you could never imagine doing alone. And if you do it wrong, well, you learn from it and you do it better next time. And for those of you who like to take things in their own hands, why don't you start your own meetup or an online community so you can help others connect better? As I said, having a strong creative community is crucial. However, if you want to connect with great filmmakers, you also need to work on your filmmaking skills. And I think that this video might help you do exactly that. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.